stronger than our bricks. Some nice blues. I don't know where I'm going to pull them. 2400. That's the one. How many do you want to do? I'm not going to get them all in. Move that bag over if you can. That's it. What are we just doing the rich on? That's it. Yeah. That's it. Right, today's item we forgot was the silicon and the silicon gun. So, I'm going to have to go and get a silicon gun from somewhere. Do you reckon the customer would have one? Hopefully the customer would never seems to have one of them. And then, um, we'll see how we get on. So let's get to the job. Which is just round the corner. What else did we have? Building sand. Some of the cement's in, bricks are in. Yeah, they didn't have any building sand. I'm no. hoping the two bags will be enough. Two bags is two thirds of a mix, so yeah. it's nearly a full mix, so it should be all right. We did get everything then, didn't we? Got the silicon, didn't get the gun. Got the sand, didn't get the sand, got the cement. Got the lintel, got the bricks, got the vents. We're all set. This this house is an end end house, so you can get round the back, you can park at the back. Which is gonna make it a bit easier. I could do it with some sunglasses. Right, little job today, as we've said in the video. These soldiers are coming out because there's no lintel underneath them. And then we're going to take another couple of cores above, which have dropped. And we're going to put, replace them with the blue engineering bricks, which are better bricks than these. So we're all set up now. We're just going to start taking it down, see what we find. Thanks, Al. We're going to get a sheet up on the patio doors first, the French doors first, protect them. So, um, go and get my boots and we'll get going.
right we're up what a, look at the amount of stuff we need just to do a little <coughs> so i'm up on the trestles alex is here passing me stuff so i've just it's been repointed just to repair it so this is what we're up it's completely gone so it's dropped drop there so we're right up to this we're going to take these soldiers out these top two same same script new new little new tray vents etc but um oh yeah frog down again which just makes things hard and uh this is this was adequate in the 60s leave the lintel out just put brick tour in which uh, doesn't last very long just see the remnants of it there so that's failed <coughs> so everything's dropped now so that's it we're going to start uh, dropping it down now we should be able to do it without the drill I think huh? Possibly, yeah. that less noise and less mess I'll just do it with our chisel Right. Okay. Back to time lapse. Right, half nine. Alex oh, is just cleaning the bricks that are coming out because they're, they're all, we haven't broken any yet. The sandline mortar is that soft. We don't even need the drill, it's all coming out with hammer and chisel. But let's go up to two acros in. The tray, which is in good nick. But as you can see above, you can just see the air blown in insulation there, so there's a good three, four inches of crap in the cavity. That's all going to come out. And because the tray's so high, it's all empty underneath. So, um, obviously you can't put a tray below the soldiers because there's no lintel there. So we're going to get our tray onto the lintel and sit it up here and we're going to fix it into the timber frame, timber lintel. We might even be able to um, slot it under there because there's, there's a bit of shrinkage on the lintel. So we might be able to get it in there and seal that up. But there's what's, there's, that's an alternative to a lintel. Victor, which is um, a bit knackered. That was a, that was long here. You see remnants of it here. Mind you, 61, 62, so it's not done so bad, is it? No lintel for what's that? 50 years, 60 years, nearly, nearly 60 years. So that, that's what we're up to. Uh, I've got 20 to 10 now, so let's get it all, the rest of it all out now. Get this last acro in and get it, get it all ready to put back in again. End of the tray, barely four inches past. Oh no, there's the original opening there. There's the remnants of the uh, brick tour. And then we're taking the soldiers out now. So we'll take them out together. Everything's propped up. So let's take them out gradually. They feel like they're being held with silicon. Mm. 
Yeah. Bloody hell. Looks like it too. It's all the, the plaster underneath. It's taking the plaster out with it. We're leaving a hole inside. That's not good. Oh, one second. All this is coming out. Right. Yeah, there goes the uh, cavity tray muck. Don't let, it, don't let it drop. Better get some insulation up there before it all falls. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to cut a bit now? Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't want to repeat the last time. Um, do you want to go and cut it? Have you got it? Yeah. Do you want to go? What's the trial gun that you had? 100 mil strips. What? 100 mil strips. Nice update, we're going for our lunch. Tray's in and we've actually managed to chase it under the under, between the brickwork and the timber lintel. So that's in, nailed, sealed. So that's, that's great that. Now to keep the pattern we need to bring the lintel in at the same height. So we've split the brick like that. So we'll bed this one, level with the top of the frame, then we'll bed the lintel on top, and then we can bed the other piece on top of that. So the lintel will be back in the same place. You'll just have this extra horizontal bed joint, which the customer's fine with. And that means when that's in, the soldier brick will fit in properly. Because your lintel's going to come up to halfway of the course, so that'll make the the soldiers work right because obviously these are 73 mil and our bricks are metric so we'll get the lintel into there and that'll bring our soldiers up to there and then we'll put, put the top two cores of brick back in after we've got insulation to go back in it's been injected it's also got a load of crazy foam in there as well for some reason so we'll get all that insulated our trays in our uh, charcoal bricks, we've got charcoal vents as well, which, which should look okay. Um, the only thing we're struggling with is the upstand because of the way the lintel works. But uh, I'm not going to worry about getting upstands on it, it's going to be fine. So that's it, we're going to go for our dinner now. Oh, yeah, one little casualty.
Right, what are we on now? About 20 past two. What? 20 past two, half roughly, two. half two. Yeah, half two, bang on. Yeah. Yeah, um, just discovered a one brick short. Standard. But uh, luckily the customer went and picked us up a couple. So I don't have to drop everything, leave Alex, abandon him again. First time. <laughs> so, you'll notice here the lintel's in. It's propped. Unfortunately, it's behind the frame, but there's not, nothing we can do about that. Um, Dave, the customer, is an ex joiner, so he can sort that out himself. Uh, probably put a bead on it or something. Uh, tray's in, I showed you before. It's nailed in, it's tucked in, and it's sealed in. The only thing we can't do is put an upstand on it because the lintel goes through that brick. The reason it does that is to keep it. So that our bricks work. So our first vent will be here. Um, yeah, that's it. It's patched up both sides, ready for the blues, and then obviously the top two go straight across. And there's our insulation to go in there. I've insulated behind and kept behind the lintel, so it's insulated from there down to there. It, it wasn't insulated from there originally because <clears throat> it was had a tray. When you've injected it, that's as far down as it went, so it's got an extra warm spot over the door now. So I'm going to put it on chest mount for a bit and um, get a few of these soldiers in. Yeah. Like I say, I've done it once before. Yeah. It's just. Is that with you? I'm not sure. It might have been. But the re I know I've done it twice before actually on Ludlow and Haslam. The reason behind it is, if we don't do that with the lintel, then the lintel gets raised up to that course. Yeah. So you've got like a two and a half inch gap. And also, um, so you've got a big gap for it to move. Yeah. And you've got a big gap to seal up as well. These soldiers are all funny, aren't they? Yeah. Nothing works. So this is just this is just best all round. The only thing we can't do is is put the upstand on the DPC. But the end of the DPC is in the cavity. So if any water does hit that, it's going to run into the cavity. Anything else is going to come down and hit the wheat vents. But again, it's because the door's not in straight. That's just the way it works. Okay. Um. Well tidied up. Uh, uh, so. uh, the uh, yeah, we have now. Yeah, that's done with. Nice black vents. Let's go with the dark brick. Are you filming? Yeah. Right. Right. Oh no, not to turn the radio back on. Oh no, not yet.
Do you want, do you want another line? Yeah, no, I'll manage. Thanks. There's usually one. With these, uh, the, the offcuts, the brick ones. Yeah. It's all just full bricks now. Oh, these vents are perfect. Are they? Yeah, because the lintel is sat behind the frame. And it shouldn't be, it should be sat in front of the frame. But these vents, they project out past. Yeah. We have a hole at the end, so it's going to run out past the frame. That's good. Yeah, so the frame is set back. And the frame's put in, it's not quite straight. So our vents have got a hole in and they project. Past. So we're not going to have any trouble with any water coming out of the vents. Not that any water will ever come out of the vents, but just belt and brace and being sure that's all. <laughs> I'll just get this one in, Al, and then we'll go to um, time lapse. There you go. I'll just get this one in and we'll go to time lapse. Okay. Get the radio back on.
that three quarters can go out. Sorry? That three quarters not needed.
that's it, 20 past five, all packed up, tidied up. And here we go. Just make out the joint where we've put the lintel in. Nice new blue engineering bricks. And two courts above. Jobs are good in. So uh, don't forget to subscribe because we're our subscribers have been going backwards lately so do us a favour and give us a subscribe and share the video with, with your friends. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.